When it comes to signing a contract virtually, what do we need to know about the legal side of this? Are some programs better than others? Are there things we need to be looking out for? We're going to talk to everybody's favorite IP and entertainment lawyer, Tony, to find out more. My name is Tony Lee Costas. I'm an adjunct professor of entertainment law and IP at New York Law School and have an Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok account called The IP Professor that is dedicated to all things intellectual property. When it comes to signing contracts inside of our business, we often find ourselves using apps to sign those contracts. Is there anything we need to know about the legal side of this, things we should stay away from, things we should gravitate toward, or just things we need to be aware of, Tony? So first and foremost, I I think I'm like a digital contract connoisseur. I've signed, I've signed like umpteen of them during the pandemic, uh, especially uh, the line of work that I do. So I've seen it all. I've dealt with DocuSign, Adobe Fill and Sign, um, even the ones that are built into Apple with the, the little sign feature. So there are a variety of different apps out there. I really don't think that many of them are different from one another. I would just say that probably the better ones are the ones that would provide you, let's say, uh, geolocation access where part of the signature lets you know where in the world someone is signing it. Part of the reason for something like that is to, to verify the authenticity of the signature that yeah. is not coming from some foreign actor, but it's actually coming from the person who is a signatory to the contract. Mm -hmm. It also, I think, provides a very, uh, you know, the, a good contract app would um, provide a good library of, you know, all the different signatures that are that you have pending, you can be able to email with ease, you can assign certain roles to different people, like, you know, let's say that you're saying a contract to five different people, one of them is a signatory, but you want the other remaining recipients to just get a copy of it. Apps like DocuSign allow you to do that. So it's a matter of just shopping around to see what fits your narrative, what, what fits your, your business model best. Um, but I think DocuSign and Adobe pretty much are like the penultimate ones out there, namely because of the geolocation aspect of it. Also, there are the only platforms that I'm aware of, maybe there are a few others, but they're the only ones where you can actually use your own signature as a form of a signature when you're signing a document you can use the generic script font if you will but you if you wanted to you could upload uh like let's say a pd uh, a jpeg rather of your signature or even a png version of your signature that then is used as the default signature you can even draw it in if let's say you're doing it on a, on a phone or a tablet and it would link to your account um and i also like uh, apps like docusign and adobe fill and sign because they do have very good record keeping where um, it lets you know what pending uh, agreements are out. If you need to void an agreement because there was an error, you can do that with ease. Uh, you can also uh, keep a, a nice uh, you know, library of them, of all the signed contracts, and they don't typically ever expire or disappear. So there, I think that th those are like my preferable ones, but there are tons of them out there. It's just a matter of what's going to be best for your business model. Also. What you're willing to spend money on, I think, is also kind of the variable here as well. Adobe Film Science is probably more on the cheaper side of things. DocuSign, I believe, you might have to commit to a bit of a more corporate account if you wanted um, a bit more autonomy over it. Um, but all in all, they're all great. And I think, especially in light of the pandemic, um, the availability of all these apps has just proliferated to a mass extent. So I think a lot of people are even embracing this model anyway. And it's just a matter of what you feel most comfortable using. And of course, if you are going to be signing something digitally, you want to make sure that you are working with a company that is reputable. We know lots of things love to pop up and just steal some information and other <laughs> nefarious things. You, you should be wary if it's if the website's called one, two, three contracts with a Z at the end. Maybe that's where it's a little bit <laughs> fishy. So <laughs> go for the reputable ones. I, I definitely retweet what uh, KM said there. And as always, a really good choice is to go to Google, type in the name of the company and scan just to make sure that will give you a pretty good idea if it's something you should stay away from or if it's something that's a bit more on the reputable side. You can always ask your lawyer. You can always have conversations with other people in the space to make sure it is a safe environment for you to be in. But don't sign anything if you have questions without checking with a lawyer first. And as always, if you're ever signing anything related to a contract, get yourself a lawyer. Make sure they read over everything so make sure the terms are favorable in your favor and is not going to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. If you got questions on this, go ahead and drop it down below. We'd love to make sure we're getting those questions answered for you. Tony's coming back for upcoming episodes to keep us legally protected in the entrepreneur space. And as always, you can reach out to Tony on his social medias. Tony, where can everybody find you? 
You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at the IP Professor. And you can check out my entertainment law podcast called End Scene. When new episodes drop every Friday on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And hit the subscribe and notification bell because every single day we're dropping brand new episodes helping you navigate the world of growing your online business, marketing on social media, and content creation that does not need to stress you out or take a ton of your time and efforts. We want this to be your most profitable year ever. So if you've got questions on any of these things, let us know down below and stay tuned because every single day we're bringing you those brand new episodes to make sure that you are running the best business you can while also living your best life. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.